Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an 8 over 8 RC. And this is just a 16 stitch cable that has a right lean with 8 of the stitches crossing over the first 8 stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique. Now since this has such a large number of stitches in it, we are going to be using a cable needle or a DPN that's close to the size of the needle you're using in your pattern. So the first thing we'll do is work up to the point where we're going to create our cable. Okay, so we've reached where we're going to twist our cable. And we're going to take our cable needle or DPN and to create this right twist in our cable, we want to slip the first eight stitches of our cable onto this cable needle. So that's five, six, seven, eight. And we're actually going to hold that to the back of our work. And then we're gonna pick up our yarn and we're gonna knit the last eight stitches in that cable. like so. Okay, and then we can pick up these stitches from our cable needle. And you want to make sure that your yarn is out of the way. So we'll put that to the front of our work. And we will slide those eight stitches from our cable needle back onto our left hand needle so that we can work them. Okay. And this is going to be a little tight because we are working over such a large number of stitches. So now we can put our working yarn back behind that first stitch. And as I said, it's going to be a little tight, but we'll cinch up our working yarn and then we'll knit those eight stitches. So this is not a cable that you want to do without the use of a cable needle. That's pretty tight, but we got it done. Okay, so we've created our twist, and then you can continue on in your pattern, which I just have some pearls here, but I'm gonna go ahead and work a little ways so I can stop and show you guys how that looks. Pull those out so they don't fall off. Okay, so we've created a eight over eight RC, or an eight over eight right leaning cable. Let me show that get that in the frame so you guys can see it a little better. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.